we have traffic at three o'clock. A beam, meaning directly to our right. Mm -hmm. I said it's a he's I said it's a, a major fireball. In other words, we thought it was a comet possibly. Mm -hmm. And I said, and he's uh, he's slowly passing us. And he said, okay, right. He said, Roger, U.S. Airways, stand by. He called. Me. He said, we have nothing. He said, we have no traffic. In other words, from from our vantage point, we couldn't tell if he was 10 miles or 100 miles. Yeah. There was no way to tell. It was pitch dark, but it was a clear. We're at 40,000 feet. It wasn't a cloud in the sky. We we're above everything. Mm -hmm. And he, finally, he, he came back and he said, well, we have. I said, well, gentlemen, it's out there. I said, we're looking at it. I said, I even called a flight attendant up. I said, look at that. She said, yes, I see it. I said, we, I've got verification from several people. I said, I've got passengers in the back of the airplane that see it. I said, it's there. So you could see it the whole time? It wasn't like a zoom and then no, it was gone? No, 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 baby. The further away something is, the, even though he was probably going, what, 15,000 miles an hour, we were, we were going 600 knots. U.S. Air, we've solved your problem. We've, it's the space shuttle Atlantis. Re-entering the atmosphere on, the, on his way to a landing at Canaveral. That is cool. And it was cool. He just said, he said, we've solved your problem. It's a space <coughs> shuttle Atlantis. He is just now entering the atmosphere on his way to landing in Canaveral. I said, well, thank you very much. I said, I wish you guys could see it. This is probably the most awesome sight I've ever seen in 30-some years of flying. I've never seen anything to compare to it. And that's, you know, the way it, that was the I remember trail John that he left a fire I mean it was fire mm -hmm. it was fire. plasma it was oh Jesus it was 30 40 miles long truly <laughs> because he was so far away. I asked him his range and they said oh he's he's about 150 miles south of you I mean he was way to hell off. yeah but up at that altitude, the air is so clear. You know, it's yeah. clear. There's just nothing up there. South. So that was that was well if you're headed the that was a very cool that was probably the most phenomenal. That was the most phenomenal thing I've ever seen. That was the but second one. He was, one. There was, nothing he was, to, to he was south. How could you see him? He was, he was south he was of us, going you? east to west. No, he was going west to east. He was paralleling our course. We were flying California, okay. Pittsburgh, or Philly, wherever the hell we were. <clears> we <throat> were flying, and he was flying west to and east. He was also. crossing you. No, no he was, he was we were paralleling each other. I'm here. But he was, going he was over here. Okay. We were paralleling, mm -hmm. but he was about 150 miles away. My point is, he the the, the, the trail of of fire that he left plasma. was so big, plasma that he left. Well, how long was that ball of fire? <laughs> miles. Oh, it was it was 30 probably 30, 300 miles. 300 miles long. Babe, I don't know. It could have been. 50 probably. Miles. It may be 50 I think miles it long. might have been 317 miles <laughs> based on my calculation.